Hey everybody, we're here at the 2018 Pittsburgh Pro with my co-host George Brown. I am Amanda Spuckle. Let's dive right into it. Men's Physique Division, George. What did you see tonight? Raymond Edmonds. That's what I seen. Um, it ended up being Raymond and Akeem Scott, uh, top two. Um, I seen a pretty good uh, first call out. A um, couple guys in there towards the end that I didn't have, but um, overall, you know, I thought it was a pretty good show. Now, Akeem Scott just turned pro at Nationals, won the overall yeah, this past yeah. year. Mm -hmm. He he pushed Raymond. He did, man. He's come on scene um, not like a lot of guys have. He he did a his pro debut, um, I believe, was the Dallas show, um, which was a uh, senior men's championships. He got a uh, third place um, right behind me and uh, Weatherspoon. He followed up with the Nebraska show. He took first place, and then he pushed the guy that's at the top of the division all the way to the brink. You know? Absolutely. So, now, Weatherspoon was at this show as well. It was not in first call-outs, um, but a guy who wasn't in Dallas, who also was not in first call-outs, Stephen Kao, this guy's up and down already. Because he was in first call-outs at the Arnold, and we thought, hey, he's, he's about to make a name for himself, and dropped out of first call-outs in Dallas. Um, was in first call outs in Fort Lauderdale, dropped out in Dallas, and now is back in back in first call outs. He was in the Dallas show, but he uh, the Europa, 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 Europa. Mm -hmm. Europa excuse mm -hmm. me. So that, that's a lot of up and down already for a young cat. Yeah, I guess that's that's something you expect from a youngster. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can't really talk about being up and down. When I first started out, you know, my guy called me an elevator. I was up and down. <laughs> and, and you have to learn consistency. You right. Know? And, you know, he's got what it takes, I believe. And, you know, you never can uh, tell where you'll be placed at the show. I had him first call outs this show. Mm -hmm. He actually was in first call outs. They just didn't pull him when they took the other guys out. But he just needs to learn consistency. Like I said, I like his look overall and I think he's got a future. A big future. He's wide. Yeah. Shoulder to shoulder. He's a very wide, beautiful V taper. Needs to get a little thicker through the chest. Who else did you see tonight that 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 maybe uh was a bit of a surprise or, or you thought belonged at the time? Uh well um <clears throat> The guy, uh, Andre, I believe, is a guy from the Czech Republic. Okay. He was up there. You know, I thought he, uh, I remember him from Olympia. Um, he, he brought a solid package. Um, he looked really good. Yeah, he definitely did. His tan was off. Yeah, his tan was off, man. It, and it's his like, tan was terrible. It's the small things like that that might hold you back. Right. You know, but well, you, you're flying across, you know, <laughs> across the world. Yeah, yeah. You better be sure a little thing like your tan yeah, is on. Because yeah. I think that might have cost him as many as two spots. Yeah. Um, Jeb Gabriel, um, sure. he looked really good. He wasn't in first call outs, but I saw him in Lauderdale, um, and he looked real good. Be on the lookout for that guy. Fernando Rios looked really good, really balanced. A little bit on the small side, but very well balanced. Yeah, I mean, and that's, you know, at the end of the day, you want to be balanced. You know? Right. Um, you want to present a nice balanced physique with conditioning, you know, so everybody has room to grow, but. Overall, like I said, I think it was a pretty good, you know, show for the amount of guys that it was, and you know, it was a bigger guy show because you got Raymond, then you got and you know, Akeem, Akeem yeah. and so they set the standard for the size of it, and right. you know, I think, uh, you know, Stephen Kao, pretty big guy too. I, like I said, I, when they didn't show him off, shoulder. I was I was yeah. kind of shocked yeah. that you know he wasn't in there. But you know, yeah. at the end of the day, it's coming down to Ray and the King. They were neck and neck, neck and neck. So you know, we get to wait tomorrow and see what happens. Stay tuned tomorrow. You will find out what happens. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, guys. George Mandis, we're out.